that can't be who I think it is. Did you catch the new play by the peg leg Send me for a butter slice of hard sack. It's... It's you, ain't it? Of course not. But I know you like I know the curve of my eleventh toe. The Watcher. Captain of a mighty ship. God chaser and fiend slayer. Must be expensive sustaining a reputation like that, eh? I'll keep it quick, see? If your little dinghy has got some chase in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. And I'm in the market for a scuttler. You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk business, eh? You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first, one of Rawatai's finest, eh? I don't ask my client what he did or what scale his death balance is. Safer to keep questions in the hold. Hope that don't make you skittish, none. Loyalties, be it what they is. I'll measure where my loyalties lie, thank you. If our target is worth his salt, he'll send us down to Andra's realm anyway. Mark me. But the bird lass thinks she's true-born principy, she does. Of course you will. Now's a good opportunity when you seize it. Cornu helms a voyager early muster in the waters north of Nekataka and south of Sayuka. Made me want to poke out my eyes. Fair day, traveler. Anything I can do for you, just say the word. Lady adventurer at your humble service. I was born in a deer and raised in the field, and there's nary a crevice of this archipelago I haven't seen. I, the living lands most off, but the dead fire as well of late. And my goodness, if you think the dead fire's wild, I must say, it's no more thrilling than a lady of luxury's afternoon luncheon in comparison to the glorious madness of the living lands. Being a cypher's come in quite handy, I'll tell you that. Oh, dear me, yes. Can't seem to avoid it. Not a lick of it's my fault, of course. It's the university. Always sending me to the most dangerous corners of Aeor, the skimps. If I didn't know better, I might say they were trying to kill me. There's not other way to rid themselves of a tenured professor, after all. Oh, aye, aye. Some you wouldn't right believe. Like the time I lost part of my ear here, see? Lost an entire research team along with the ear. Rather a long day, that was. My colleagues have implied I might be cursed, but I can't say I'm much agree. It's just the nature of the work, you understand. I mean, goodness, if you want a lady to find you the rarest plants, you gotta send her to the most remote places. On my last expedition, my colleague Ennis got herself lost looking for what was essentially a big prickly weed. No medicinal use at all. I found her, though, mostly intact, even. A blessing from the living lands, I call it. I... But I do go on, don't I? With pleasure. Teaching is my specialty, after all. I'm gonna pack your brain with so much knowledge, you're gonna have a headache for a week. All I need from you is 3,000 copper. That's your prerogative, I suppose. Come back if you change your mind. A cozy traveler. Care to hear a tale? Well, I was born to a family of merchants on the Pearl Coast. I learned of the power of geography and language at my father's knee, and those skills proved useful in the republics. I had many successful years as a merchant, and then... I made a mistake. I joined up with a company based in Girara that traded in beautiful weavings. But they were ill-gotten gains, 
forcibly produced by a weaver the company kidnapped named Boniceta. I didn't learn the truth until it was too late. And when our crime was uncovered, I was exiled from the republics. Indeed, but I should have asked better questions of my employers. And now I'm here, kicking my heels in the dead fire, where no one knows my name and with... I would like to make amends to Boniceta personally, but it seems a distant possibility. Ah, well, I learned my lesson. I won't be played for a fool again. It is good to blend in. All the better to observe the business of those around you, yes? Ark, you listen to my tale. I suppose I can do that for you for... Uh, 3,000, as you say. Ain't no cruel hire me. What good's a pirate who can't see? Forget navigating by the stars or shooting a pistol. I can't even swing a sword accurately now. Have a pity and toss me a pyre, will you? Andra's blessings to you for sharing, sailor. Is this what my life boils down to? A moment of entertainment for others? I was a bosun not so long ago. And a damn good one at that. But I took a shot to the face, see? Didn't lose much skin, but the flash burned out me eyesight. I can't make out so much as a blurry shape more than a foot away. Makes me right useless on a crew now, don't it? No one will have me for work.
Give me the order. You are welcome in Sayuka, Traveler. As surely as the winds stir the sea. No, no, no. How many times must I demonstrate the proper way to greet a visitor? I say, I must have forgotten again. Will you remind me of the line, Undersecretary? We say clear skies, Traveler. Simple. Elegant, and no smiling. Do you understand, Greeter Tebe? Can you repeat it once more? I want to make sure I've got it. Questions, Traveler? Sayuka, known to my people as Rubiri, is a colonial outpost of the Royal Deadfar Company. The island of Sayuka is the Royal Dead Fire Company's center of engineering research and development in the archipelago. Our work is directed by Fleet Master Okaya, the youngest Brawataian ever to hold the title, best of her class at the Naval Academy in Tokoa, and a brilliant engineer, our Fleet Master. 
You forgot to mention the giant sharks, Undersecretary. Giant sharks, giant coral, giant trees, Hekira. The only thing not bigger in Sayuka is Ascorna. Small mercy. No one knows why things grow large in Sayuka, but there are all sorts of theories. Me? I think Galloway smiles on us. Superstition is unbecoming of a Royal Dead Fire Company officer, Tebe. I say, it's a lucky thing I'm not one then. Hey, Kira, I wonder the same every day. Tebe learns to perform her duties as a Rawataian might. Her fellow Juana show a lamentable disinterest in the proper way of doing things. Do not speak about me as if I am not here. A career sandal sniffer and busybody, so far as I can tell. You ungrateful sag! I am the second in command to Fleet Master Okaya, the governor of your piddling little island, and I will not be mocked by a smart mouth idler like you! So I have heard many, many times. You don't know the half of it. What was that, Greeter Tebe? Surely just the breeze, Undersecretary. You will call me Sir. Akira, I certainly will not. Ahoy, Captain. Uh, if I could bend your ear a moment, uh, I'll be aiming to thank you for bringing me aboard. You run a tight shop, and you ain't no terrible person, either. It'd be a welcome change from the gentleman of leisure. I've a uh, gift for you. This trinket be from one of the first ships I hunted. Malnage would have snatched it had I not found a perfect hiding spot. You'd be entirely welcome. Now, if you'll pardon me, I've roundabout reached my limit for sentiment. Artillery trajectory calculations. Terribly tedious and lamentably imprecise in a storm. Ah, but the numbers distract me. Where are my manners? You found me with a rare spare moment. Did you not read the name on the door before you came in? 
You do know you're in the office of the Fleet Master, I hope. Ah, you meant to ask why I'm important enough to have my name on a door. I'm a Fleet Master of the Rawatayan Navy stationed at Sayuka, a research colony of the Royal Deadfire Company. To one unfamiliar with the Rawatayan Navy, perhaps, but mine is an administrative position. I see to the smooth running of Sayuka. Of course, it'd be a sight easier if there weren't the coral to contend with. All the wonders of the sea and more besides. What? Uh, what can I do for you? Put your eyes on these. Whoa, whoa, look. Captain? Clean hit.
Așa. Scallywag's hoe, Cap. Stand together! Asha. Someone's up ahead. Curses. Hey, me too. That's not very helpful. Yes? That's it! Indeed. Your every step fouls the ground. Why do you pollute this sacred place? You've made your last mistake, trespasser.
Certainly. How about that? Be open. Yeah. Oh, I think I can't see you. you see. What did you find, Ishii? you insist. There you go. Have it.
Scallywag's hope. Stand together! Eh, not my thing, Savvy. You there, stranger! Help us! We are not fit to be here! Come closer. That's it. Just a step more, little bird. Highly above! Damn it, wait! Thank Andra's sweet tides. Forgive me, stranger, but you must help us. If you could, I mean. Who are you? A buyer, maybe? But down here? I haven't seen you before, so you don't work for the slavers. So you really aren't one of Kua's. I only know the way we were brought in. But an escape that way wouldn't be easy. The guards have horns for triggering a lockdown. I am Wahaki. The dead fire is my homeland. And someday, I will kill these slavers for defiling it. Understand? They do. Though the legalities scarcely matter. All kith have an inborn right to freedom. To survival. I would see these traitors slaughtered for their overbearance. You've made it this far and haven't been skewered by an ogre. Yet. Perhaps you can free us. Me and the others are keeping tabs on their patrols. I know their schedules, and their weaknesses. We can handle ourselves if you can get us out of this cell. Weapons! The slavers have plenty, ripe for the taking. We will swiftly kill the closest guards and arm ourselves. I will personally take the Taskmaster's anchor and use it to rip out his entrails. Open the cell, and witness the Wahaki's best warriors in action. The big dumb one. The Taskmaster. He stomps around near the stairs that will take us to the fort's upper floor.
indeed. Just a moment, please. It's no trouble. Be... I'd be glad to. Of course. Had someone in my sight. Ready to skin some slavers? I know I'm ready for revenge. I would rather die than risk awakening again in chains. Me and mine will make our way to the courtyard, gutting any slavers we find. The chaos should help you reach the master. What say? Are you ready?
together. See that beauty of a hit, Maya? I've got this, Captain. An eye Had someone in my sights. Stand together. Indeed. 
Of course. I... and then you... I don't know how or why you killed him, but I do thank you. Truly? You mean it? I can never thank you enough for such kindness. Gods, I... where should I go? I've nothing to my name but these clothes. And my freedom. Thank you for the kindness, my lady.
Hey, watch it with that. I'll try my best. Well, if you insist. Care to have a look? Right away. Indeed. 